everyone, and welcome back to Royal Fashion News. My name is Brittany, and today we are going over my five picks for the best and worst looks of the week. And I've also been able to keep up pretty well with posting on Instagram and getting y'all's feedback. So I will let you know what you guys chose as the best and worst looks for this week. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys. So my first pick for worst look of the week is Queen Letizia in this rather bizarre skirt hole Thing. I, I don't know what this is and what it's trying to be. It's so bizarre. I don't get it. There's something, I think cutouts can be effective, but here it just looks dumb. It just looks like literally she burned a hole in her dress and just cut around it and reframed it and just put it on. It's, it's weird. It doesn't really work. I don't understand why she would pick this. She has been on a bit of a kick of, I guess you could say, showing more skin. So during the summer, she wore this pretty, this cutout dress that went up around her upper stomach. And I thought then it was inappropriate. And I also think now that it's inappropriate. So it's interesting to see her once again go to these cutouts. We obviously saw a backless dress last week. So she's really moving in this direction, which I find a little odd giving, given her station. So for my first best look of the week, I have to give it to Beatriz Borromeo, who is the daughter-in-law of Princess Caroline of Monaco. So obviously Prince Albert of Monaco is her uncle-in-law. Her grandmother-in-law is Grace Kelly. So, and she has a huge aristocratic line in her family in, from Italy. So I just love this, this fashion spread that we got from her. She is the representative of both Dior and a jewelry line. And so you see both of those represented here in these pictures. I think my favorite look is her red dress. And although I feel like this perhaps maybe is a bit cheating, sometimes what I like to do is I want to choose a best look from one person and a worst per look from one person. So you can see somebody on both the best and worst dress lists, but you won't generally see them twice on the best list. So, but I just really love this look, these looks from Beatrice. She looks utterly stunning. I love the backdrop of Monaco in these pictures. And although somebody's curating the looks, obviously somebody like her, she does have input into what they put her in. And I feel like she really captured the beauty and glamour of Monaco. And I just really think, think these pictures are very, very stunning. I just love the looks and I wish I could buy some of the looks, obviously, but I cannot. So, but anyways, I do think these are fabulous looking and I think she has utterly fantastic taste. So for my next worst stress list, I really do have to give it to Crown Princess Mary. I am not a fan of this look. They are at in tour in Vietnam and there's a part of me that kind of likes it. And then there's a part of me and this seems so weird because I'm not really one of those people kind of too on the nose because she's in Asia. This is a very Asian inspired look. So I feel like it's just a little bit too much on the nose. So I would have appreciated something else. I feel like with the hair up and with the wrap dress is just, yeah, a little too much. And I hate to say it because I'm not this person kind of cultural appropriation in a way. <laughs> so I'm just not a huge fan of this. I do love the Manolo Blahnik pumps. I do think those are really, really pretty, but it also seems just doesn't seem to fit quite with that dress. I get that she's accenting the yellow in it. I don't feel like this look works for me personally. So you may have a different opinion. Let me know in the comments. Although I will say when I looked at the results for the surveys I did on my Instagram, I didn't feel like this dress, I think had 70%, 76% liked it and others did not. So I feel like this dress, ugh, a bit of a mixed hit, but her next outfit. So this was the one that she wore later, this white lace ensemble. You guys chose it as the best look of the week. And I do have to agree. It is one of the best looks of the week. I love this lace dress. I think it is stunningly beautiful. I feel like she really, really pulls it off. I feel like it's it's airy and light and, and works for the environment that they're in. I just think it was a stunning choice. I think Mary chose supremely well in this look, and I feel like it really has a fantastic aesthetic, and I just really, really love it. And I looked because I wanted to find this dress, but I think it's out of season. I was just, maybe I'll look again and see if it's perhaps on sale, but I would totally buy that dress. I have a dress that's somewhat similar to it. It doesn't have the lace cutouts, but it has, it's a white 
shirt dress. It's sleeveless and it's from a past season or two, but I personally absolutely love it. And I think, again, it's super appropriate, very gorgeous and utterly, she looks utterly regal in it. All right. For my next worst look of the week, I have to give it to Queen Maxima. You guys all know I love Queen Maxima. I am just not feeling this suit pant ensemble. The sleeves of the suit have a umbrella effect or bell effect. And I just don't feel like it's super flattering on her at all. The Ferragano pumps, I'm not really a fan of. The checkered pants perhaps are a little much. I I don't know. This just work. This look, I don't think... I get what she was going for, which is a more business casual, but I feel like it's business more leaning on men and more boxy rather than having a suit that is cut well for women and therefore slimming. So I feel like this looks like she took a suit from her husband's closet and put it on rather than, or like a waiter suit or something. It's just not flattering in the way that most suit jackets are. I'm a huge fan of suit jackets, but they need to be cut for women and you need to wear the right size. Otherwise, they look too boxy and they just don't work. And I feel like this falls into that there. And I'm also not a real big fan of royal women having a a purse that goes over their shoulder. I feel like that's just, it starts to get a little too casual for me. I realize a lot of them do do it, but I prefer it when they have a clutch or a top handle or something. It just gives it that extra effect. So. It just, this look is a big old no from me, I think. And the the brooch just, it doesn't seem like it goes with it. Again, it looks like something she picked up from a waiter. So anyways, guys, sorry to say I love Maxima, though. You guys know I love Maxima. Next best look of the week is Queen Letizia in this blue number. I saw this and I was like, wow. So she wore this before in the UK while she was on tour there. And it just looks even more stunning now. This is a stunning, stunning dress. She looks gorgeous in it. It's just cut exceptionally well. I just, I'm just in awe of this look. I love it. I love it so much. And she looks stunning. I think it rivals or maybe even even better than where, when she wore it with a tiara. Although I do love tiara. So anytime you can wear a tiara, I am a huge, huge fan of that. So that's my next favorite look. Other look in the no column for me this week or more of what exactly were you thinking is Queen Rania of Jordan. I do usually like her looks quite a bit. I don't get this biker chick look. And I don't really understand it in terms of she's a woman representing a Muslim country. I don't feel like that look would be well appreciated in a lot of Muslim countries. And I just don't like the short jacket. I'm not a fan of short jackets. I know that was a a style trend for a while. And actually, Kate, her evening reception dress had one of those short little sweater things that they had for a while. It, it looks good in a way, but I just don't feel like it's appropriate for who she is in terms of being a royal. And I don't feel like I, it's just like biker chick. Why are you trying to be a biker chick? You're the queen of Jordan. I don't understand it. Now, guys, I almost put this dress as number one, but I would have done it mostly because more people watch this video because Princess Catherine is number one. But guys, I, I love this look. I love this camel look from Catherine. I really feel like she pulls it off. I have a different one in my number one column, but I think this is actually a really, really gorgeous, sleek look. I feel like she pulls it off. I feel like the color of camel works for her. We've seen Meghan Markle try to do all camel looks several times, and for some reason, I just don't feel like they work for her. But Catherine here, I thought she pulled off this look really well. It's a Gabriella Hurst dress, and I I think it is stunning and I just really, really like it. I feel like she grabs things that just really do flatter her. And I really love how simplistic this is. And I was thinking about doing a video just highlighting dresses because I love dresses like this and I love putting belts in dresses that I have some that are similar in a way that I could show you and point out that, hey, you can get the same look from Kate here if you just invest in these, a couple of these dresses from these great brands and not expensive brands, I'm telling you, but just something like that I think would be super great because it is such a classic look. I think it just really, really works. And I'm just a huge fan of it. Although I will say when I looked at the the survey I did on for you guys on Instagram, I noticed that it wasn't actually a huge fan. So the last I looked here, it was 86% loving the camel and 14% not so much. So I thought that would be higher, but hey, 
Everybody's got their own opinions and that's why I wanted to hear you guys. I think that's kind of fun. Worst look of the week, and you guys actually did agree about this, is Princess Charlene of Monaco. I know she has had health issues. I know her life in Monaco, I don't think it's very good because Albert, he's known for having illegitimate children. That is his claim to fame, I feel like, in royal circles is those illegitimate kids. And so I feel like she married him knowing that she was going to get X, Y, and Z, but also knowing that this was going to be a struggle. And she's been battling health issues. I'm just not a fan of the dress. I feel like it's just too busy and it's so boxy. She looks pregnant. I was looking at it. I don't think she is because I don't. I think they lead very separate lives for the most part. I don't think they're really that close. This is a marriage mostly in name only. That's just my personal opinion. But I feel like the dress is so busy, it could have really used a belt or something to cinch it in because, again, she did look pregnant. She could be pregnant. I'm not sure. She's in her 40s. I don't feel like, I, I just don't feel like they'd have any other kids. But it's just not a flattering look. And I'm not a fan of her really platinum hair. I think the dress with the super platinum hair just really doesn't work for me. It's just, I'm just so not a fan. But and you guys tended to agree. So last I looked, and let me just double check here. Only 33% of you loved the look and 80, 67% said it was too busy for you. So guys, the crowd has spoken and I agree. Okay, guys. So for my personal best look of the week, I have to give it to Queen Maxima of the Netherlands and the outfit she wore on her first official full day in Greece. This burnt orange dress with the white inlay inside and the hat. And I just, the brooch, guys, I loved this look. I really loved this look. I actually tried to see if I could find this dress because I want that dress. I don't feel like the color would probably work for me. Burnt orange is not really my color. Uh, if you don't know, you, everybody has a season of the year that of the color pa palette that looks best for them. I'm the summer. This is probably more of a fall slash spring color palette for somebody. But for me, I I just love this. I just love it. It's so classic. It's so elegant. Match it with the pearls. Guys, I just, oh, I'm in love with that dress so much. I would, I looked to see if I can find it and buy it. Or I just... I just love the look. I just love it so much. And I feel like it really actually works with the white. And then you add the white hat, the pearls. It just really brings it all together. I feel like if it would have been just solid burnt orange, it would have still been pretty. But to me, that little pop of white in the middle is just really what sells it. And I'm just, oh, I'm in love with it so much. So guys, let me know what you think of my picks. Thank you so much for those who have voted. I will continue to try to do that and expand on it. But I'm still figuring this all out. So you guys will have to be patient with me. I don't think I got everything up there this week. But guys, thank you so much for participating. I love these videos. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.